Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update mods uh, with Mod Pack Manager, an application by Spiger and Instincts uh, that works really well with MultiMC. So we're gonna update our MultiMC mods, guys, which is great. Uh, so, you know, this is a personal pack. This is not like a pack that you've uh, downloaded from a Mod Pack author uh, because in that case, almost all the time leave it up to the mod pack authors to do their updates unless you really know what you're doing because uh, you could you know potentially cause problems with the pack or whatever break the balance things like that uh, so be aware of that okay so this is just a small list of mods here focused around Batania and we're gonna want to just check those to be sure that they're up to date okay so I'll leave a link in the description for this application mod pack manager okay and uh, basically, it keeps a local repository of uh, links to all the CurseForge files and manages those uh, so you can update stuff. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Add Mod Pack, Add Custom Launcher Pack. Okay. And it's looking for a link to the pack. So the easiest thing to do is to uh, go to MultiMC and right click and choose your instance folder and then copy your Minecraft folder. That's what it's looking for because that's where your mods and configs and stuff are. All right, so copy the Minecraft folder. Then go back here to Mod Pack Manager and select Paste. Okay, so you're just pasting the path to it. Now you could choose Select and get a file browser and all that kind of stuff. All right, so, but I'm just gonna call this uh, Batania Setups. Doesn't really matter, it's just a temporary pack. And I'm gonna choose the version that of Minecraft that that pack is using, which is 1.12.2. So we'll import. Now it's gonna ask us in some cases if it's in doubt of which version of things that we want. So it's asking for Garden of Glass. Now Optifine is from an external site. It's not from CurseForge. So it doesn't know about it in the repository. We'll just choose to ignore it. We're not trying to update Optifine uh, this, in this manner. Okay, so here, uh, it blink brings in all of those mods. They'll match the mod list there beside Optify, and Optify won't be on the list. And it'll show us in red which ones need updating. So at a glance, we can quickly see that several of these mods need updating. Now, if you wanted to update a single mod like Botania, then you could click it and choose Change Mod Versions, right? And uh, you can then select from the list which one you want. So the highest one, you know, is the newest one. So we'll go to that and you can also view change logs uh, but in Batania's case it's it's links to stuff so uh, depending on your system that may or may not work clicking those links on my particular system it doesn't uh, clicking the links does it but basically now we just update the mod and it'll go through and grab the newest version okay and that's that's fine so now it's updated in multi MC you know it's it's now the newest version v14 in multi MC which is awesome so basically we just went through and, and updated our our mod okay now uh, we can go ahead and update journey map and all of these so if I just wanted to do I don't want to update the world edit because the world I just happen to know world edit and all of that's gone to like a different version that I don't really want to update that right now in this pack. Uh, now, I also know that if I change JEI, I'll have to change my Forge version. Okay, I, I just know that from updating packs. But that's all fine. So if I wanted to... Um, if I choose Update Mods, okay, I could get a list of which ones that I want to update. As I said, I want to ignore the World Edit versions right here okay I want to ignore that I want to view the change log for JEI again you could get that information from there it'll tell you all the change log current releases somewhere in here it should tell you that the forge version has changed you know you'll need to look through that but it's 2816 now but see I could get all of the change logs which is super nice uh, compiled together Okay, and then journey map, you know, I can read the change log on it. Phone fix is an important one uh, that could potentially break your pack. So you'd want to try to read the change log on it. Um, so I'm not sure that that one worked. All right, so I'll choose update mods. And it'll go through and it'll update all of the ones except the ones that I didn't want to, which was world edit. Okay, 
cool. So that it has been reflected here in MultiMC. Now, if I do a launch, I am going to get a, not a crash, but a forge warning uh, from JEI. JEI is going to say, hey, update your forge. Uh, and that's fine. We'll do that. Not a problem. Now, of course, in the meantime, you could just go ahead and just delete this pack. You don't need it. I mean, you, if you're going to consistently play this, you may want to keep it around. No problem. Uh, as you add more mod packs, they'll tile along the top. So you could, could keep it. Uh, but like I said, this is just quick update stuff. So I'm just going to choose remove mod pack and don't delete it from the disc, but it's smart enough not to delete your multi MC. Yeah. Just as I said, it's going to tell me my, I need a forge update, uh, there. And so basically I will just go into the multi MC version here, choose forge and choose, uh, let's give me change change version yeah change version on that and 2816 is what i want right here and i was 18 i think it, it doesn't really matter um and hit okay and that will be, will be fine so now we'll go through launch all of our mods are updated in multi mc and we are ready to play and guys that is a major major cool thing and we don't need twitch at all to do it uh and we can keep everything updated. Works on Linux. Uh, that was just a screenshot from the last one. Uh, it works on Linux. It works on Windows. It works on Mac. And everybody is happy. So Mod Pack Manager from Spider and Instincts. Awesome application. Leave a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. It's Scott Omato. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.